Hi, my name is Anthea and welcome back to my channel. So I recently went to Japan for holidays. It was such a beautiful country. I would highly recommend it to people who are thinking about going there. However, Japan is notoriously difficult to navigate as a vegan. And to be honest, it kind of is. I don't think vegans should miss out on an opportunity to go to Japan. So in my next few videos, I'm going to give you a few tips to navigate your way through Japan as a vegan. So in Japan, it's pretty rare to be able to walk into any conventional Japanese restaurant and find a vegan or even a vegetarian option. The vegetarian options normally contain some type of meat or fish broth in them so I would highly recommend on doing your research before you travel. We don't normally do this but in Japan we ate at mostly vegan or vegetarian cafes that we found on the Happy Cow website. I really wanted to enjoy the local cuisine so I made sure I selected places that were more Japanese inspired or of a Japanese style rather than kind of like western food. Not surprisingly, Tokyo was the easiest place to find vegan food just due to the size of the city. But I did my research and have picked out my top 5 favourite vegan eats in the city and we'll be showing you that in this video. Number 5 is Tea's Tan Tan in Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station is ridiculously massive so it actually took us 1 hour to find this place. I'll write up some directions on my blog. Once we found the place, it was so worth it. We are in a vegan place. Super excited. Yeah. 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 The restaurant specializes in ramen, which is 100% vegan, and that's pretty amazing as ramen is traditionally served with a meat-based broth. The restaurant is fused with locals, which is always a good sign. I got the black sesame tan tan ramen, and my partner got the peanut tan tan ramen with gyoza. Normally I prefer a lot more vegetables in my food, but the noodles and soup was so delicious so I didn't mind. Mm. That was so good. So happy with that. Number four would be the Hemp Cafe in Abisu. The Hemp Cafe is a whole foods vegetarian cafe with a mixture of raw and cooked foods. The menu incorporates a lot of hemp products and is a fusion of Japanese, American and Mexican food. We got nachos with fresh guacamole infused with hemp, a hemp taco which was so so good and an avocado bowl. The avocado was broiled right in front of us which was meant to mimic how eel is traditionally cooked in sushi restaurants. And of course, dinner isn't complete without dessert. Number three is Sora no Yorogipon in Tokyo Station. It's a more traditional ramen house but served vegan ramen, which is pretty rare in Japan. The restaurant was super popular with the locals and there was even a line outside. We ordered and paid for our food using a machine, then we were ushered to our table. We were intrigued by the huge range of condiments hair elastics. Many of the females use the elastics to tie their hair back when eating so their hair wouldn't fall into their soup. I got one of the two vegan ramens available which had handmade brown rice noodles, vegetables and a refreshing soup. My partner got the other vegan option which had noodles that had red paprika kneaded into it. It was so delicious and reflected how so much thought is put into preparing food in Japan. We also got some house-made soy milk ice cream which was a really nice way to finish the meal. Number 3 is Ain Soap in Ginza, an upmarket district in Tokyo. I loved the experience as the food was high quality and the restaurant had a calm atmosphere. I couldn't resist the pancakes, so I chose that for dinner. The pancakes were so fluffy. My partner got a nutty curry which was tasty and wholesome. I visited the ground level shop to get some pudding for takeaway. It was like a creme brulee and was honestly the best vegan dessert I've ever had. I would love to recreate it back at home. Number 2 is Veganic To Go in Roppongi. The cafe is situated in one of Tokyo's many small alleyways and is very cosy and quaint. It's bad. <laughs> 
It was pretty busy when we visited, so that gave me time to explore their mini shop and cake display. We both got burgers and they were well worth the wait. It was pretty hard to find vegan ice cream in Japan, so I couldn't resist getting the house-made soft serve. This is the black bean soft serve with rice flakes. And finally, number one, our favourite vegan meals in Tokyo. We're at the Future Food restaurant, Tobu Tobu in Kinjuku. This restaurant was one of a kind as they use grains in ways I've never seen before, such as to make desserts creamy and pizzas cheesy. It was in a eco mud brick building with a rustic homey feel and a touch of greenery. They had a cute little shop with clothes and books. We got dessert first because they weren't serving dinner at that point. It's pretty typical of Japanese restaurants to serve dinner only at certain times of the day. This tiramisu was super creamy and it used a special kind of millet. For dinner, we got nachos and one of the best vegan pizzas that I've ever had. It was topped with teriyaki flavoured wheat gluten, okra and a range of veggies. So with a bit of research, it's definitely possible to eat very well in Japan as a vegan. When we weren't eating at cafes or restaurants, I was able to find decent vegan food in convenience stores or make it back in my hotel room, which I'll show you in the next video. I was definitely inspired by a lot of the vegan food, so would, I'm hoping to post some recipe videos in the future that are inspired by my experiences in Japan. So let me know if you enjoy watching videos like this by leaving me a comment or liking this video and remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and Japan tips. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.